She just showed me Christmas cards. Yes. yes, I just hung them up this morning. Shut the hell up. I literally hung them up this morning. You just got the chills. You just felt the chills. Yes, that was your mother's soul that you just felt right with you. Well, first of all, there's a soul that's coming that I keep hearing on life support. Who passed on life support? My mother. Okay, she's here. Yeah. And it was crazy because I felt her going like this, like trying to get my attention. And she kept saying to me, Matt, my girls are right there. My girls are right there. I'm looking at the screen like, who? And she goes, just tell them life support. They'll know it was me. So no, first of all, it's her way of acknowledging that she's here. She's also telling me about the birthday. So first of all, did she passed right before the birthday or what's the connection with the birthday? Before my sister's she, birthday, her daughter. She passed before my birthday. She says, please let my daughter know that I, that first of all, she was trying to hang on here in the physical. Yeah. And your mother keeps saying to me, the reason why she had to come through is she needs to let you two know that she knows every single thing that you had done for her here in this world. Because she says to me, Matt, they were trying to keep me alive. They were trying to keep me alive. And she said to me that you would not take her off of life support here in this world. She would says not. to me, Matt, I saw them praying for me. She oh says, I saw them singing to me because you were on the side singing to her and saying different oh things to her. She says, and Matt, she says, I got to let them know one thing. She says, thank you for giving me the chance. Thank you for giving me the chance. She even tells me that you brought in other doctors to see your mom or to evaluate yeah. your mom because yes. you did not want to have to make the decision to let her go. Yeah. Your mom says to me that she goes, Matt, she goes, and she keeps call calling you her babies. She goes, please let my babies know. So did she used to call you that here in this world? Yes. <laughs> she keeps saying to me, so she's not saying my daughters. She keeps saying to me, tell my babies, tell my babies, Matt. She says that if I, if I could have stayed here in this world, she says, I would have. She says, but she's going to let you know one thing. You did not make the choice to let your mom go. Okay. Please know that even though she was hooked up to that machine, her soul was already on the other side because I see that. Okay. She says, I have to let them know the choice was actually mine, not theirs. Because okay. she tells me, she keeps telling me about the survivor's guilt. And she keeps telling me that ever since her passing, you go back and you think about everything with your mom. And she yeah. says to me, Matt, my daughters are so upset with the hospital, so upset with the doctors, so upset with the people that were treating me because in the beginning, they didn't take it seriously with your mother, she's telling me. That's exactly right. She says to me that she, she says, Matt, she goes, I have never saw my girls fight for fight as hard as they did. She says, before I left this world, she tells me. Right. That's right. And she also tells me that there was this big issue that had happened where they were trying to send your mom home in the beginning, or they didn't want to take your mom or treat your mom. Yes. Because I hear, I don't know if it was you or you, but I keep hearing someone saying like, no, my mother needs to see somebody. My mom is not right. My mom is, is not okay. Yes, that was, yes, that was me. Yes. Your mom is telling me that from the other side, she says, Matt, I seen all of this. I knew all of this, she says. And the one thing is, she says, is that I had every fighting chance because of my daughters. She says, so even though they didn't take it seriously, she says, you did. Yes. She says, at the end of the day, Matt, she says, my body was just too weak to keep fighting. No, but also when I'm connecting, she's pointing to your Christmas tree, okay? <laughs> and she's telling me that you have decorations in memory of her. Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> we and got some notes for her. <laughs> that's crazy. And also she says to me when I'm connecting, she just showed me Christmas cards. So did you find like Christmas cards from years past? Yes, yes I just hung them up this morning. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Because your mother because she puts the year on it. She just died like in August, but every year she put the year from the cards. I literally hung them up this morning. She said to me, Matt. Uh, you, you just got the chills. You just felt the chills. Yeah, that yeah. was your mother's soul that you just felt right with you. Because she says to me, Matt, if you, she goes, I want them to know one thing. She goes, I need to let them know that this is real. She says, so if you talk about the cards, my daughter's going to say without a doubt, that's my mother. I know for sure she was here with me. Just did it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Awesome. You know, what's amazing is that your mom says to me, Matt, I wish they could see me now because this woman is beautiful on the other side. She's all dressed up when I'm connecting with her. Okay. She I shows me, Matt, she says, I got my hair done and your mom, listen, oh my <laughs> She's making me blush. I don't want to say it. Can I say it? Say this it. woman was obsessed with her titties here in this world. <laughs> Why was she always worried? I see her pushing her boobs up on the other side. She had breast cancer a couple of times. So, yeah. Oh, my God. Did she used to stuff her bra? You know, it was a challenge when she had the breast cancer more than once. And um, so I, I'm sure she's proud now. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but she's going like this when I'm connecting with her, okay? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know how to tell you girls this. But listen, spirits will oftentimes do this. So they'll get me to say certain things. So the fact that your mom battled 
breast cancer multiple times within her life. By her doing this is her way of showing you, look, I'm fine. Look, I have my boobs back because she's showing me it like she was, she's touching them and going like that. I'm like, I don't know what this means. <laughs> but listen, I made a, I, I'm sorry to say that like that, but I always make a, a pact with the spirit world that I am going to tell you everything that they show me, whether or not it embarrasses me, whether or not that, you know, it's correct to say or not, I have to say it to you. Okay. Your mom says to me throughout her life, she, her health was her biggest challenge. She says, and at the end of the day, she says, Matt, my girls, they had to know more about my life and more about my, my health issues than even I did. She says that you always knew so much about her and that you were always her advocate. She says, because the hardest thing that the two of you went through is that there were many times when your mom almost died here in this world. And that was the biggest challenge that you went through. She says, Matt, there's one thing I need to let them know this afternoon. It's that I am watching over them on the other side and they don't have to worry about me anymore because I'm okay. okay. She says, and when I was here, Matt, she because she tells me she was religious here in this world when I'm connecting. She actually even tells me of a cross of her. So she's talking about the cross. And she okay. says to me, Matt, I want to let them know that I asked God for more time here in this world. Okay. She says, I don't know if he heard me. She says, but when I got to the other side, I realized that he did. She says, because he gave me extra years to spend with my girls and my family. He definitely did that. Definitely. This is her way of letting you know that she is okay on the other side. It's her way of letting you know that her soul is here and with you. And more importantly, she tells me that she is okay. Thank you so much. Bye, mom. I'm going <laughs> to leave you with that.